Google Read Along is a program that will help your students learn to read by providing real-time feedback and encouragement as they read aloud. When using this app, a virtual reading buddy listens to the students read aloud and provides feedback. The reading materials includes a library of diverse reading materials that include both fiction and nonfiction, divided by lexile level and grade level. In addition, students earn stars and badges for completing the test when they receive real-time feedback and corrections. To support English language learners, there are various read-along languages available to your students. In Google Classroom, teachers can assign differentiated reading activities based on the grade level, phonics skills, or lexile me measure, and this is available in the Google Classroom. To get started, we'll go to the Classwork tab, and then we will click on the Create button. This will allow us to create an assignment. And then at the bottom in our attachments, we will select Read Along. Read Along gives us the option of choosing from different reading materials, from leveled readers, decodable readers, target Lexile measured readers, target grade level readers, or it will also give us the English language support in the language of Spanish. I'm going to click on decodable, and I'm going to choose a story. Once I choose the story, I'm going to attach it to the assignment. If I wanted to see what it looks like in a student's view before attaching it to the assignment, I can click on Try Student View. Try Student View will give me a preview of what it will look like for the student. When I'm ready to give this assignment to my students, I'm going to click on the Attach button. Select those students who this assignment is assigned to. Click Done. If I have a specific due date, I can change the due dates here. Or if I have a specific topic that I've created just for my reading practices, I can select that topic here. I've created one called Independent Reading, so that's where I would like for mine to be housed. Once done, I'll click the Save button, and that assignment will be given to those students. Let's read. Socks that match. Beth was looking for socks. Dad, where are my socks? He said. Great reading. That was fast. Dad said, here they are. Fabulous. Beth picked socks that do not match. Wow, that was fast. This sock is pink and that sock red, Dad said. Here, I fixed it for you. Fabulous. No, Dad, said Beth. I like socks that do match. So do the kids at school. Very good. Well, if you think so, Dad said. We have to get now. Great job. On their way to school, they passed the sock shop. A sock shop. That was fast. The shop was selling thick socks and thin socks. Well done. They had red socks and pink socks. They had socks with blue dots and fantastic socks that do match. See that? Beth said, 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 said. Good. Can you read this word with me? Dad. 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 Well done. You got that. Quiz time. In the beginning of the story, why couldn't Beth find her socks? Yay. You got it. 
You win 50 stars. Quiz time. How did dad try to help Beth? You missed it. Try again. Uh oh, try again. Correct. You win 25 stars. Once your student has completed their assignment, We'll click on the classwork tab and go directly to that assignment and you will see that it has been turned in. Click on review work and you will be able to see the performance insight of each individual student's reading performance. This will include data for each assignment, rating them on accuracy, speed, and comprehension. For this reader, it was 113 readers in this decodable. The student scored between 70 and 90%, and these were the common words that needed practice. With comprehension, and there were two questions included, she scored within the 50 percentile, and she had trouble with inferential questioning. You can click on each tab just to bring them up, and this will be associated with those students' names and their data.